Well, here's how the gun ended up looking. There's the rebar barrel. There's the foregrip made out of walnut with true oil finish. It actually fits really, really well. I'll see if I can get some details on that. Doesn't match the buttstock, but who cares? Yeah, a nice little gun now. Here you can see the grip. Uh, the shape is loosely based on the one that came with the gun, but this one is much bigger, so it actually fits my hand. The gun is a youth frame. It's kind of small sized. Ended up getting actually really nice contouring here, and the fit against the gun is outstanding. It's excellent. Everything is just as if it was a, you know, factory built. It really, really came out really well. Alrighty, let's go through the whole firing cycle. Rebar barrel in there. Everything's all set. Cracker open. There's the uh, ejector I made the other day. This is a Calibri 22, so it's a very light bullet with uh, a heavy primer. Pop that in there. Close it up. Locks nice and tight. Nothing's wiggling. Pull the hammer back. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Pull the hammer back. Probably not. And we fire. Yeah. Hit the tree off the hip. It's actually more accurate than I was expecting. So then after we fire, crack it open. Got the ejector here, little manual ejector. Pull it up, shell comes out. Push the ejector back down and we're ready for another shot. I'm gonna try showing you the whole cycle like this, but with just me working the camera, it's quite hard to get something in frame. Anyway. Take our Calibri, chamber that, pop it in there, pull the hammer back. Calibris are the super quiet ones. All right, open the chamber up, use our extractor do here. Whoops, I want you to be able to see that. Hang on, use our extractor, lift the shell out. There it goes. Easy as that. Okay. Here's the first shot. I'm just right behind the camera. Right here. <laughs> anyway, I'm right behind the camera. First shot. Uh, this is just at the paper target using a Super Calibri. These are just primer, so they're usually very quiet out of a rifle. And it's on the paper. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Not bad for no sights, it's actually quite accurate. Alright, shot number two. This time I'm going to aim for the center of the paper. Again, I don't have any sights of any kind, so we'll see. Oh, I think that one went high. In fact, I see it there in the bark. I'm aiming high because usually these Calibris fall quite a bit, but I'm not that far from the target. Alrighty. We will try aiming a little lower this time. There we go, on the paper again. All right, probably the last Calibri. They don't make any bangs, so they're not quite as fun. On the paper. Okay, this is gonna be the first test with a full power 22. I'm doing it against this tree because I'm going to be behind it. This just doesn't work out like I planned. So this is in frame at all. Yeah, there we go. All right, first test. Here we go. Got to get out of the way here, just in case. I got uh, five rounds of uh, standard 22 long here. Let's see if we can put them on the paper. Bark. We seem to be heading to the left a lot.
one thing we've learned is that it shoots way far to the left. No problem, if I had a scope or even sights with windage, I would make that adjustment. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to see if I can hit it from twice the distance. Very far to the left. Anyway, let's try some of those stingers. Too lazy to change my lenses. So sorry this is out of focus. Anyway, here we got some CCI Stinger 22s. Challenge was given to shoot these. So let's do that. <coughs> Three, four, five. Still got a round in there. Hang on. <laughs> Be right back. Spent shell in there. All right, stinger in the hole. Wait for it. Got to use proper safety gear now. All right, here goes CCI stinger. Shot one. Oh, well, they're definitely a little bit louder, and they smell different. But they shoot just the same. We'll do all five stingers right now, why not? Alright, here we go. Here's a stinger right here by the camera. I'm right here next to the camera. Here we go. Okay then. I think that myth has been debunked. This gun loves stingers. Finger number three. Uh, yeah, a lot of bark knocked off that tree. Stinger number four. Stinger number five. Yeah, right on the money. He loves the stingers, they're great. Now we're gonna need some footage of me actually shooting it. I know I'll get a bunch of trolls saying, oh, you were shooting with some other gun. So there's the gun and our five spent stinger shells. Good times, good times. We're gonna do another couple more CCI stingers. Like I said, they shoot really well. They have a nice, I don't know, they just feel solid. They're hitting the paper. So, here we go. Oh, hang on. I like to wear at least a breech glove in case things get nasty. All right. Here we go. Back in the middle. All right, another stinger. Here we go. Get it on the paper. Whew. All right, this will be the last stinger. This will be stinger number 10 in this run. And then we'll go back to shooting regular cheapos. Right. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to do one stinger. I'm going to do one stinger and one Calibri just for a noise comparison. Just so you can see the difference in the volume. There's the stinger. I'll do the cleaver. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, one more cleaver because they're fun. Pew pew! Yeah. 
and the spent shells eject really freely. So they're much quicker to eject and start over. If they're hitting the paper too. Shooting the regular dumb old Federals. No idea if these will be in focus or in frame. Let's see if this is in frame, huh? There we go. Alright. Dumb old Federals. A few more dumb old Federals because it's fun. I don't know, man. For a barrel that's not even supposed to fire stingers, it looks pretty darn good to me. Let's see if we can keep this in focus at all. Let's see how far away we were shooting from. There's 25 feet, and there's where we were shooting from, so up to 31 feet, a little over 10 yards. Yeah, a little over 10 yards. Not a tack driver, but it'll get the job done. Quick post-mortem. Here's uh, most of what we shot today. A few of the CCI stingers, and if you inspect, I don't know, nobody will but me, the backs of the cases are a little bit bulged, and I know exactly why. Because I uh, switched the boring device I was using to chamber the thing kind of halfway through so the front of the chamber is a little bigger than the depth of the chamber which is fine the cases are not splitting or anything like that just a little bit of bulge and you know I wouldn't expect anything higher quality certainly out of a gun like this no splits uh, you know no separations nothing like that hammer is striking just about where I want it just in from the edge there and let's see if I can pan over to our paper here. There we go. I'd say from uh, what do we say about 31 feet, about 10 yards. Uh, a lot of those got on the paper. I know a lot of them didn't as I was watching, but uh, once I figured out that the thing is shooting pretty good to the left, it's about six inches to the left. That's not too bad. Not too bad to put this many on the paper from that many shells. I'll show you what the aiming looks like. Hang on. Alright, chamber's empty. I'll just show you what it looks like to aim atop this thing. There are no sights of any kind. Get back a little bit. No sights. You just 
aim along the ridges and it'll put the shell on the paper. I wouldn't use this for squirrel hunting, but uh, you know, if you needed to hunt the most dangerous game, uh, this might just do the trick. All in all, I like it. Yeah, all came out pretty nice.